Hey there guys, Mikey here, and welcome back to the Comic Junkies Corner. So it's the last day of February, which means we can squeeze in a little bit more love, and that means we can talk about some more romance. If you were here last week, you saw my picks for the most bearable romances in comics. Hopefully you participated in the comments section because now it's time to talk about the romances on the big and or small screen that do not make me want to vomit out of my mouth. Okay, out of my... Can you vomit out of other places? Do not answer that. Back to the point, if you would, real quick, just post your picks for your favorite on-screen romances and why they're your favorite in the comment section down below. Talk nerdy to me. Let's start the show. Number three, Peter Parker and Gwen Stacy, The Amazing Spider-Man. Yeah, I know, they made both of my lists, and for somewhat different reasons. This couple is friggin' cute. They're friggin' adorable, man. I mean, how can you not want them to be together? They're incredibly sweet, but not to an unbelievable level. I might be cheating on this one because I do personally know a couple that's actually like this, and Emma Stone's portrayal of Gwen Stacy is actually a dead ringer for a good friend of mine. This couple is admittedly pretty corny and pretty dang cheesy, but to a level that's actually charming and sweet. Maybe too sweet at times. I've been bitten. So have I. Number two. Fitzsimmons, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Who was it pushing for these two to get together? Well, admittedly I wasn't necessarily feeling it at first. I felt like they had more of this cisco Caitlin relationship from The Flash, and the whole I loved you forever thing just kind of came across as sappy. But over time they just kind of grew on me, and seeing their struggles both individually and as a couple really got me on their side. If you think about it, these two have jobs that consistently force them to put their lives on the line, so the odds are already working against them. But there was just something about their determination to get through whatever they were going through that I really, really respected, and eventually it won me over. Which leads me to the following. <clears throat> Season 5 of Aegis of S.H.I.E.L.D. Fuck! <clears throat> now that that's out of the way, here are some audible mentions. And the number one most bearable romance is Robert and Helen Parr, The Incredibles. How is it that an animated movie managed to display one of the more realistic married couples? This may have to do with the fact that they are already married, so the honeymoon stage and most of that whimsical nonsense is over. Oh, I love you. Uh, most of it. They have been together for years, and it really feels that way. The movies have done really well to show you the more comical side of marriage, but also the harder side of it. It doesn't shy away from showing you the strain that life can put on a relationship, but despite all of that, they still fight through it and find their way to one another, and it's not done in some cloudy, over-romanticized sort of way. It's actually done in a really believable way, which again surprises me that these are animated superheroes. I can genuinely say that I love these two together, and I hope that we can get more adventures from them someday. That's right, I am demanding another sequel. We have three Cars movies, there is no excuse. Whoa! Get it out! Woo! Get it out! Get it out, 51! Woo! So those are my picks for the top three comic book movie slash TV show romances. Hopefully you've already left your favorites in the comments below. If not, go ahead and do that now. Thank you guys for tuning into the Comic Junkies Corner on McGlam Entertainment, where we try to bring a little bit of enjoyment to your... You hear that? Ah! Well, it's not a bear suit, but I can get with this kind of madness.